for a long time? I think so. Um, there's an element of me very disappointed because we've spent uh, a lot of time on dealing with set pieces. Uh, I've scrutinised about six DVDs of Everton, been up here for two games and that was where I felt their, their strengths were. And Maybe the occasion and just lack of focus in that first five minutes has uh, just gone against us, but it, it just shows you what the the small margins there are in this game of football. Very easy of conceding so quickly to, to, for the lads to collapse, but that, that didn't happen, did it? No, I mean, I mean, I know these boys. I work with them every week. They're they're a fe feisty group, very mentally strong. Uh, makes team selections very difficult, <laughs> certainly on the Friday. And I knew that um, regardless what was going to happen today, we would be able to compete and be able to deal with the occasion. So, yeah, then for the rest of the game, I think you can see in yourselves that uh, the difference between a mid-table conference side and a elite premiership club was uh, a set piece and a questionable penalty. What, what did you think about it? I think it was an easy one, weren't it? Um, too easy to give when really... I think uh, the players got got himself close. Our defender couldn't really get out of the way, and he, you know he is the wrong side of the ball. So the, I think the ref sucked into it really. But the game's based on decisions, you know, and sometimes they go for you and they go against you. Whether it be your player making the decision, or the coach, or the linesman, or the ref, and we have to accept it. It's part and parcel of the game. And let's be honest, what you're going to talk about from Monday to Friday if uh, the refs made the right decisions all the time? What's, what's Sam said about it, Marcus? Is he frustrated or not? Um, all I've said to the players at the moment is just to um, take a deep breath, um, reflect on the week, know where we can move on. Uh, as for the the sort of little things like that, I'll discuss next week. Really, um, I just want them to carry on enjoying what has been a fantastic week. It's a shame though, wasn't it? The, the, the penalty it was set up at one 0 for a real barnstorming finish. You know. Yeah, I mean, you probably could see in the substitutions I was making and where we started to have a few more players a bit more advanced that we, um, we we felt we could get something or a little nick and you're looking at the clock and you're thinking they're not comfortable here, they're not happy and you know they're getting a bit tense, a bit frustrated and I sort of lined up my, my, my substitutions anyway knowing that Nabil and Kieran coming on are strong, strong and athletic and would cause problems in which they did and yeah it's just caught us on the back foot but what a fantastic experience for all them boys and uh, I'm not only proud of the players but proud of the club how we've dealt with this situation uh, from the exposure to bringing 6,000 supporters here and uh, it's got to be a foundation now to move on and progress up this uh, the league and the conference and like every club that exists we want to be as near to that football league if not in it. And your fans really made themselves heard today. Well, they certainly did, didn't they? I mean, mo most people say an hour and a half, but I think um, since they got here at 10 o'clock in the morning, didn't they? Um, no, what, what a fantastic experience, and the town uh, can be very proud. What I've got to do now is uh, try and get as many of them 6,000 people in at the LAM. Uh, I don't know if we can contain that 6,000, but uh, we've got a good product. The league's a good product. I think if you look at the results today from um, Wrexham and Fleetwood, uh, it's a good standard. Um, some excellent coaches and managers and some excellent players. Uh, it's a good product, so hopefully the, they've, the, the Tamworth supporters have seen the uh, the difference between Premiership and a conference is a dubious penalty and a, and a set piece. Why not come down and watch us on a Saturday in the Lamb rather than travelling all across the country? Do you have a few moments with them, Kyle Patterson in particular, a bit because he was travelling ever since? I thought so, in, in the first half especially, he was landing on a lot of ball um, where Eisden was making it difficult for the centre-halves and uh, they weren't really picking him up and I think he rushed his two shots a little bit, um, he could have took it on a wee bit further, uh, but then that's the occasion he's trying to deal with, but certainly I, I felt coming in at half-time, I, I, I haven't seen the stats, but I, it certainly felt we had more shots than Everton and uh, once again that's a credit to my boys, but the game's judged on it in the back of the net and we weren't able to do that today.